Yo, 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 this is your boy Fireworks, and welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. The beautiful white gold is here with us today, and it looks like that the Geeky Cast is back, and this time he has Spider Man news. And when we're talking Spider Man, we're talking Tom Holland, all right? So apparently, there's gonna be some news, or there is some news out on Tom Holland and what he has to offer for the next couple of phases, all right? So as far as I know, I know that the Spider Man. Uh, or Tom Holland is supposed to be with Daredevil. Um, he's supposed to be in Kang Dynasty, and he's supposed to be um, in Secret Wars. He's supposed to get the symbiote. Um, and if you don't know, in 1984, Secret Wars comic, Spider-Man wore or the symbiote, which was like a black suit. It's just basically all black with mm -hmm. the white spider on the front. And so they, he's mm -hmm. supposed to get it sometime down the road, but. We're gonna let Geeky Cast give us the information. You didn't hear it from me, you heard it from him. All right, so uh, make sure you guys are following the Geeky Cast or subscribe to the Geeky Cast. All right, um, before we get into this, make sure you guys are leaving a thumbs up, make sure you guys are leaving a like. If you're new here to the channel, make sure you guys are hitting subscribe and tapping that notification bell. That way, we do a video just like this, and you want to get it first. Okay, so this is Spider Man news, and we're talking to Tom Holland. All right, I'm Fireworks. The beautiful white gold, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. That's a cramp. What's going on everybody, Beretti here with another Geek Cast video and today we have a good amount of news to talk about. So pretty much I have some people, you know, obviously that look out for scoops, leaks, and rumors. As you do know, we keep the receipts once you guys put them out. So receipts. make sure what you're putting out is reliable and whatnot. Otherwise, you know, it'll come down to the conclusion that you lied. <laughs> no big deal. I mean, we're not here to, to hate on anybody. Just doing what we're supposed to do. Own the news, reporting. You know what's correct and what's not correct to give you guys the most valuable evidence in the future so pretty much ember on main today was streaming on twitch playing fortnite and they went on to say some things that i had some people um write down the notes for the rumors and leaks and whatnot so with that being said new reports daniel radcliffe signed on for the mcu for one project however it's not wolverine so that's pretty interesting as we don't know that you know Daniel like Radcliffe a, was rumored to be Wolverine at some point in time. Maybe, Fans were asking, which, I mean, I don't really know who else he could be. I mean, obviously the big Harry Potter star was several other characters in time, has maybe gone into some in, other movies uh, and whatnot, but his main shining role is Harry Potter. Uh, he looks like Wolverine, so I'm going to be curious on who else they'd put him as. Maybe right. like... Uh, Why would they make him Wolverine? No, no, to be honest. Number two. Giancarlo Esposito is close to being cast in the MCU, possibly as a good guy. I mean, I figure that's pretty much take guy. that with a, yeah, I mean, I feel like yeah, that's kind of like, obvious. They were hinting that he'd be playing Professor X, but, Which would be you know, nuts. we don't know where he's going to go. Um, as for imagine? a different good guy, I mean, I could totally see him, honestly, just playing Professor X. That's what I would like Bob to see. D? I mean, it'd be a different role. I still would like him better as a villain, as I feel like he has a yeah. lot of potential but i mean it'd still be cool to have him possibly play you know professor x as that is a shining character which we were told that patrick stewart might be actually coming back tom holland will get in the sony universe and fight both venom and the sinister six yeah she now, like, oh and the some other six? she loves that um, yeah. we knew that tom holland was going to be the spider-man for sony and for the mcu yeah. obviously they have a joint contract kind of thing where they're kind of going back and forth with him he's obviously going to be it i mean you're not going to bring back toby or andrew for that andrew garfield is pretty up there i wouldn't say pretty up there in age but he's go getting up there which we don't know how many more movies he really realistically wants to do and as for toby mcguire i kind of feel like he's just doing his own thing he's doing other movies and other films and whatnot and he doesn't really necessarily need to be in the spider-man series and he had a good conclusion for his character for i sure. loved it Tom Holland gets the symbiote in Secret Wars. He randomly stumbles upon it. I'm assuming it's kind of like in the comics where he actually does get it through uh, looking for a new suit. Uh, 
I mean, it'd be cool. I hope they show that picture that they show from Secret Wars where we're going to get, you know, the cover, obviously, where he's in the black symbiote suit, one of the rarest comics ever. Ever. Um, at least Marvel-wise. Adam Driver, Ryan Gosling, and Esposito are still on the shortlist for Doctor Doom. I really want them to do Adam Driver. I mean, I'd be cool to have Ryan Gosling or Esposito. I Ryan Gosling uh, is Doom. But I feel like Adam Driver needs that because he was such a good – I don't care what anybody says. He was a great Kylo Ren, and I feel like yes. he needs more. You know, he, he with the right writing, he will do so well. Yeah. And, you know, every girl in the world loves Adam Driver, so I feel like it makes sense and it works in that category. Number six, Sony and MCU Peter Parker are both Tom Holland, but they're different. They don't necessarily share the same history. It's like he coexists in both universes without being a variant. Madam Webb will further explain this. That's kind of weird. What? That's kind of oh, like almost see, like they're saying damn, he's you, like I knew Sony was going to find uh, a way the to living fuck tribunal it who exists everywhere at once and only in one form. So just call him I don't a know. variant. Just, I mean, it's cool. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. Maybe he goes back and forth and he loses memory of certain things. Or don't say that. I don't. I, I mean, I really don't know how they would explain that. It's weird. <laughs> oh, Obviously, no! the web of life is one for Madam Web, and then for the MCU, it's the time travel and the multiverse. So, I guess we'll see on that one. Number seven, Spider-Man 5 and 6, where we will get Rhino if we get him, not in number four. Rhino? Apparently, the rumor for number four is with Kingpin. But, you know, I mean, who knows? It's really definitely like Kingpin. Obviously, people don't quite know yet. Obviously, people get hints and, and rumors and whatnot. But, you know, for the most part, nobody really knows yet. Number eight, John Krasinski as just a cameo. Now, people were saying how essentially Ember said this first and whatnot, and how he was going to appear in Deadpool 3. Well, realistically, I'm going to post it right here. If you look up there, breaking moth culture. It's rumored that Mr. Fantastic, played by Lone Grufford, will emerge as a descendant of Kang in Deadpool 3. Now, this came out so like 11 10 2022. So, is it going to be like that? That was maker? literally a month ago. Hmm. Yes, that was first, though. So, I'm going to. Keep it up there and whatnot. Is that what they're going to Yeah. Is, I mean, <clears throat> obviously, we'll see. we got to hold everybody accountable to their rumors, their scoops, and whatever not. And if they're right, they're right. If they're not, you know, goes in the, the cap file. Number the nine. Dude, well, the, Spider-Man 4 is Daredevil maker, and Peter a versus Kingpin. just from a different universe. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming that's after Born Again. But obviously, once again, it's one of those things where we'll kind of end up seeing. You know, I mean, we don't really know yet. But that'd be kind of cool having the team up now because everybody keeps saying, you know, Charlie Cox wants to be in the thing with Tom Holland. But we'll just have to wait and find out, I guess. Uh, number 10. Fantastic Four may be in Quantumania. This is just a rumor. Now, this was a rumor from a long time ago, but from the plot league, mm. they're not in there. But once again, things can be changed. After the test screenings, things can be I added mean, in. Things can be taken know. out. But if it's if it seems like it's too good to be true... It probably is. Right. We learned that with Doctor Doom. We learned that with Wolverine in Infinity War. We learned a bunch of that stuff. So I would probably say no. Uh, I actually got some information on that a long time ago, a couple years ago, and reported on that. I just don't see it happening at this point now, to be honest with you. Number 11. 2005 Fantastic Four are in Deadpool 3. Chris Evans is back as the Human Torch. Apparently there's going to be a, jo a joke where he's going to call him Captain America. So funny, but... You know, I mean, this is Ryan Reynolds, it, so Thanos. it'll probably be funny, to be honest. He's going to zip it, cat. Um, number 12, TBA and Mobius in Deadpool 3. That makes perfect sense. We knew that. That makes perfect so sense, though. It has nothing to do with story. Fucking I mean, obviously, Owen that's Wilson now, but in fucking we, we knew that for a long Chris, time. Uh, Owen Wilson and uh, fucking Ryan Reynolds on the Number 13, <laughs> the child in Madam Web is Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Once again, another thing that we we did know for the most part, or at least we're assuming. So the baby that's going to be born in I feel like that's Madden a general is going to be Tom um, Holland. Assumption by people, but it's going to be Tom Holland because once again, if it's the Sony Spider-Man, it's not going to be Tobey or Andrew. Spider-Man. Number fourteen, Tom Holland's cameo in Across the Spider Verse will likely be MCU canon. I'm going to go with it'll positively be MCU canon because there'd be no other way to do it. Like they're to not the going to not make it canon. It seems like everything's coming together, especially if they're going to put Miles Morales in the MCU eventually mm -hmm. from, you know, across the Spider-Verse or from Sony, essentially. So I feel like it kind of has to be canon. 
And number 15, Spider-Man most likely in Venom 3 rumor. I don't know. There's been so much bad. I don't know why he would it. be unless they're going to team up against Toxin, kind of like how they did Maximum Carnage. But one of those things where I guess we're going to have to wait and find out. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for these. I just wanted to throw these out there. I thought these were smart to go over. And I thought it was there was a couple cool scoops on there, some that we already knew, but some that we haven't heard before, and then some that were rumored for a while. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, my name is Bretta. Hope you all enjoy the great... Hope you all enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, you guys. So that was information on a lot, but we got some Spidey news. Um, I think this first Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man 4, is probably going to have him and Daredevil going against the Kingpin. Tim, probably him not being able to handle Kingpin, mm -hmm. which makes sense. It, 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 like where Tom is at now, post No Way Home, starting off kind of where Toby, because we watched Toby's route into no way home mm -hmm. so the way that it was portrayed to me was that he was kind of starting like to how toby started in his apartment and he hated the, the tenant it was just him by himself listening to the radio going to fight and crime like doing it for the little people you know what i'm saying well tom is going to start the same way so Kingpin, you've seen me watch the Spider-Man animated series. You've seen Kingpin and Spider-Man go at it mm -hmm. many of the times as much as I've watched that. So, <clears throat> I feel like that where Tom is at now, he's went through a lot. But he's going to struggle with Kingpin. Kind of how when we saw Daredevil fighting for the first time, mm -hmm. where he struggled, he just didn't know and didn't yeah. realize it. All these different things. And I think that Matt Murdock is going to end up helping him. And I think that that's where you're going to get your cameo. And then that's why they said second or fifth and sixth movie. You might get Rhino. And, you know, not the guy from Andrew Garfield's universe in a fucking Rhino suit. Yeah. Which were worse CGI Rhino suit. But I think that would be dope. Um, I don't know about the Tom Holland being in both universes. That is, that's a head scratcher. I know the web verse gets weird. It's really weird. Yeah. The web, the Madam Web verse is real, like, because there's a multiverse, right? But then there's a Madam Web verse, right. which is a, and it's a spider totem verse, which means that all these spider people are attached somehow. So that's why he said it was MCU oh and brain. Sony. He was Tom Holland is MCU and Sony's, but they're they have different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. But that's because the I think they should call it a variant, but I think they can't because he's a Spider-Man character. Right. With the Spider-Man, you have different you have a spider totem. Hence in the very first into the Spidey verse where you had different you have Spider Noir, you had like Spider P, you had like the girl with the anime robot spider. Like it's just different variants. And then at the end, we saw 2099, Miguel uh, O'Hara, who is uh, the 2099, Sp 2099 Spider, uh, which I'm super excited to see. Uh, I think they should do a live action 2099 Spider-Man, but it's like the Batman Beyond of Spider-Man. It's like in the future, it's 2099. But um, different spider totem, right. different spider people, different universes. Like there was a universe where Gwen became, where Peter died, yeah. and Gwen became, and then same thing with, with Miles Morales, where Peter Spider died, Gwen. and then Miles became, yeah. you know, so it's just, it's a web, yep. and through the web, you know, it's these attached to this, to this, to this, to connect to this, connect, and it's just, that's why I said it's, if you think the multiverse is crazy, the Madame-verse verse gets nuts, because this, they said there's supposed to be a lot of these Spider-Man characters in the next into the Spideyverse, mm -hmm. way more than what they showed us. Like six or seven in this last one. And the first one, there's going to be like quadruple that, mm -hmm. they said. So it'll be interesting. I love me some Spider-Man. He's like right up there with Batman to me mm -hmm. and Superman. Spider-Man is the fucking man. And I love Tom Holland. We'll probably watch Tom Holland's trilogy next year. We'll probably bring in the year on Tom Holland's trilogy because... It would be awesome. Or maybe we wait until we get Spider-Man 4. Maybe we mm -hmm. wait to watch his trilogy yeah. 
because we still haven't seen uh, Spider-Man No Way Home with the uncut stuff or whatever. Oh yeah. With the extra footage and shit in it, we still ain't seen that. So we can just react all the way up into that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let us know how you feel about the news and who's a Spider-Man fan out there. You did? I know y'all love some Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? All types of Spider-Man. Spider-Man Unlimited, Spider-Man uh, Animated Series, uh, Spider-Man and Friends. She sees me watch all this stuff on Disney+. Mm-hmm. Plus. That's the main reason why I keep Disney+. Plus. Uh, but yeah, let us know, all right? Make sure you guys are subscribed to GeekyCast. All right, he's coming with the news. All right, you heard it here first. Um, and before we get out of here, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys leave a like. If you're new here to the channel, make sure you guys are hitting subscribe and tap that notification bell so when we do a video just like this, you all will get first, okay? So, again, um, we'll be back as soon as the Geeky Cast brings us more news, all right? So, I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel.